Welcome to Therapy. In this video, we are going to explain about select command. We have already discussed about alter command and creation of database in previous videos. You will get the link in description. You can see the video from there if you have missed. And if you want to see the explanation in SMS, you can refer to my SMS channel. You can search its traffic SMS. You will get it there. And let's start. We are going to study about select command, pattern matching and range searching here. First select command, why do we use select command? We use it to retrieve information from a table. And this one is important. Uh, question will be, list different ways to retrieve information from a table. This will be the answer, selected column, all the rows, selected rows and all the columns and selected column and selected row. Now first one, selected column and all rows, that means Suppose I have a table with the column, name, uh, roll number, name, class and marks. Now if I want to see only name and marks of all the students, then the first one will be applied. Now selected row and all the columns. Now suppose I want to see only the class 10 students marks with all the information, then second one will be applied. And for the third one. If I want to see only the name and marks of class 10 students, then selected column and selected row. Now first one, all the columns and all the row. How we can see all the column and all the row from a table? For that we use star symbol. It is also known as asterisk symbol. We use uh, this command to see all the information from a table. Select star from student. Here student is the name of the table. This when we write this command, this command will display all the information from the student table. And suppose if we want to uh, see the record from uh, employee table, we will write select star from employee. And probable question can be like that, display the information or records from the student table. And so you can write select star from student. So let's have an example. So here I have already opened my MySQL database. Let's see what tables are available in my database. So tables. This command will display all the available tables. I have just one table in my database that is student table. Now I want to see all the information from this table. All the information then we will write select then star from student. This command will display all the records from the table. Now we'll move to the next one. Selected column and all the rows. Now suppose I want to see only the name, class, marks from the student table. I don't want to see the roll number, column and date of birth. At that moment, we can write select name, comma, class, comma, marks from student. Means we will mention the name of the columns by separated by comma. And after that, we'll write the table name. Tab here student is the table name. It can be anything. If we are uh, dealing with an employee table then it can be employee if we are dealing with an item table it can be item etc so here probable question can be display the name and class of the student table then answer you can write this way select name class from student so let's have an example we already have a table suppose from this table I want to see only the name and marks of the students I don't want to see all the columns I want only two column name and marks so we will write select name comma marks from student after that we'll put a semicolon and we can see two columns now we'll go to the next topic selected row and all the column now here our row will be selected now as you can see if we move a little upward in this table here we have different classes students 10, 9, 10, 9, 8. Now I want to see only class 10 students information. So at that moment how we can write? We will write select. We want all the information means all the columns. When we want all the columns we just write star symbol. Star means I am selecting all the columns. If I want selected column then we will write in place of star we will write the name of the column. So select star from after that name of the table the table name is student and then we will write where close after where we will write the condition we want only class 10 students so we will write class equal 
10. As 10 is a number, we don't have to put inverted comma, but if we are comparing with a string value, that means character, suppose I'm comparing with name, where name equal Ram, at that moment we'll have to write the name uh, within single or double inverted comma. Now to execute the query, semicolon is required, this is also remember, we use semicolon to execute a query in MySQL. So here you can see, now we can see only class 10 students information. So this one is selected row, means we are selecting only two rows based on a condition which class is 10. And all the information. Now let's go to the next topic. Selected rows and selected column. Now suppose I want from class 10 students only name and date of birth. I don't require all the information, I need date of birth and name of class 10 students. So we can write select, first we'll write the name of the columns which we want to display. I want name, then I want date of birth, after that we'll write from the table name, table name is student. And after that we'll add where clause and here we'll write class equal 10. Now you'll see, we can see only class 10 students name and date of birth. Now suppose I want only the date of birth, name, date of birth and marks of RAM. Means I want to compare it with a character. So what we will do, we'll write select name, date of birth, marks from student where after where we'll write the column name with which, uh, with which we want to compare that uh, column is name and after that we'll write equal name equal within single or double inverted comma we'll write that character with which, with which uh, we are going to compare it is RAM. So we'll write name equal RAM then semicolon and enter. So you can see uh, here only RAM's name, date of birth and marks are appeared. So this way we can do this one selected rows and selected column. Now elementing the duplicate values. That means see if we see this table let's go a little upward. If we see this table here we have different classes 10, 9, 10, again 9, 8. As there are less record we can easily say that here in this table we have the information of class 10, uh, 9 and 8 students. But what if we have thousands of records? At that time manually we cannot search what, what classes are here. So at that moment we can use distinct keyword to find out the different classes from this table. Okay, so let's find out what are distinct classes in this table. For that we use distinct keyword, we will write select, then distinct, D-I-S-T-I and CT and inside bracket we'll write the name of the column from where we want to find out the duplicate uh, unique values so the column name is here class select distinct class from then name of the table that is student so you can see our distinct classes are 10, 9, 8 though they are repeating 10 two time repeated 9 two time repeated but still it displays just once in the output so this sample question can be like that uh, display the available classes from the student table or suppose uh, you have employee table in that it can be like that display all the available department or if there is sports table then display all the available sports from that particular table so that, that type of question can be there from this topic now next pattern matching this is very helpful to search textual values from a database now see in Facebook sometimes you search your friend's name by text sometimes you want to search like uh, your friend name is uh, Aman or something then just you write the name on the search box and similar type whose names are in similar that result are displayed in the search result. So this we can also do in MySQL. For that we use like close with where close or where command. For example, select star from the table name, then where name like 
are percentage. This command will display all the student uh, means all the name whose name start with R. Okay, so let's try it. Again for pattern matching we have two more thing that you have to know wildcard characters. With like command we use two wildcard character percentage and underscore. Percentage means to finding variable number of character after exact that character and underscore means exact that particular number of characters. You can see on the first syntax select star from students where name like R percentage that means we will see all the name whose name start with R and second one where name like R then to underscore here we will see all the name whose name start with R and also after R there can be just two characters so let's try it suppose I want to see the information whose name start with R so we'll write select star from student where name like then within inverted comma we'll write R and percentage symbol that means after R there are variable number of character it can be zero or more characters if someone name is just R then also it will display if someone name is name is R then also it will display if someone name is Rohit then also it will display now if I write here suppose I am changing this pattern I am giving percentage symbol before after it writing A now this command will display all the students whose name and with A now we'll see we have just one student whose name and with A that is Priya now if I write a query suppose I am writing R then two time underscore so what it will do it will display the record is RAM if I give three time underscore that means the name will start with R and after R there must be three characters now we will see we will not get any result here empty set that means in my table there is no name whose name start with R and after R there are three characters okay now I hope you have understood here this part is important to wildcard character use with like or use with pattern matching that is percentage and underscore percentage it's allow match for zero or more characters and underscore it match finding match for any single character means if one underscore that one character two underscore then two characters okay now we will talk about ranges range sources range means uh, suppose I want the students who are getting marks in between 30% to 50% then we can use between close between used to help the record in a range we will have lower limit and upper limit means lower limit means from which number we are starting upper means where we are ending for example if we write this query select star from student where marks between 50 and 80 this query will display all the record whose marks is in between 50 and 80 simple question can be displayed display the name uh, of the student whose marks is in the range of 50 to 100 so you will write select name from student where marks between 50 and 100 just you remember well, uh, while we are writing query we don't write two instead of two we write and so let's try it suppose from my table I want the student whose marks is between 50 to 80 so how we'll write select star star means I am selecting all the columns from student where marks between 50 and 80 this command will display all the records whose number between 50 to 80 now you'll see we have just two records 51 one is 70 so these records are displayed here if we write suppose I want only name I don't want everything I want only name and marks so we can write select name and marks marks from student where marks between 50 to 80 
50 to P and 80. So this command will display only two columns information whose marks are between in that range. Now let's see what uh, information we have actually. Select star from student. This command will display all the records from the table. So here these are the marks 50, 70, 40, 25, 45. So we are getting only the records whose number is between in that range. So this way we can search record in a range. In next video we will study about operators and uh, group functions and also we'll discuss some probable questions from MySQL because in uh, HLC examination 10 marks will be from this chapter and the same things explanation if you want in ASMIS you can refer to the ASMIS channel you will get it there thank you for watching if you have any doubt you can write in comment sections I'll be there always for you thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye